Mom and Dad were hard workers. They came from Italy uh, with not much and uh, arrived here and tried to do the best that they could. And from the start, we were connected with St. Joe's. We live maybe five minutes away. That's where my parents went. That's where my brothers and I were born. Uh, that's where my two sons were born. St. Joe's was always there to support our family, to support our needs. For about the last 15 years of my mother's life, she's had quite a few illnesses. The family's questions were always answered, but in a very caring and kind way. We have a very unique ICU where uh, once those family members set foot in the ICU waiting room, they actually become part of our family. We just really uh, try hard to um, anticipate what people need and just be there for them and support them through what uh, the next few days hold for them. Uh, when my dad was in St. Joe's, he was in the ICU for about three weeks, almost a month. The care that he received was above and beyond. And it wasn't just for my dad, it was for myself and my sons who were there and any relatives who, who were there in support. Um, they made sure that it was the entire family that was being taken care of. They treated them with dignity, they treated them with kindness, um, they treated them with love. Everybody cared. It wasn't just a job, everybody cared and what our ICU has really excelled at is to bring that patient and family focus to the forefront and to know people rather than which bed they are and which uh, disease they came with, but to know them as a human being. We had the comfort of knowing that they would be taken care of and they recognized in the last about 15 years of their lives that they needed this health care and that St. Joe's was giving them what they needed. My parents wanted to make sure that not just our family, but that people uh, in the future after they left would still be able to access St. Joe's Hospital. They had a trusted lawyer and they made sure that they did it legally um, so that there was uh, no misinterpretation of what would happen. So they knew for sure that St. Joe's would be getting this money. Uh, with the donation that my parents gave to St. Joe's, uh, a quiet room in the ICU was renovated in their name. So the uh, Crevero family was extremely generous um, and with that generosity our other families are able to have that space, that quiet space to regroup, um, re-energize, process everything that's going on. Uh, this room I used while I was there with my father. My father was in the hospital for a month uh, in intensive care. Um, this room just gave me time to breathe. This room gave me time to refresh and knowing that I could step away, that he was being taken care of and that I could take a few minutes to take care of myself. Away from machines, away from people, just that quiet room that just gave me that moment to breathe. You know, seeing their name there, and it says, hey, someone's been there before, and someone is thoughtful enough that this is how they want to give back and pay it forward as a tribute. St. Joe's deals with the circle of life, from birth to death and everything in between. All the bumps and the bruises and the broken bones, illnesses, diseases, they deal with it all. My parents knew that their gift to St. Joe's would help, uh, whether it helped their own family, uh, whether it helped their neighbors, whether it helped anybody in Hamilton, they knew that this was needed uh, to, in order to pay it forward and they knew that this gift would definitely help many people.